let me explain to you that what we will be covering in this session. We will be covering the class 6 of the ISO 9001-2015 requirements. It has got three subclasses, 6.1 actions to address the risks and opportunities, 6.2 quality objectives and 6.3 planning of changes. In this session, we will be discussing only on the subclass 6.1 actions to address the risks and opportunities. Now let us understand about the internal references taken by subclass 6.1 of ISO 9001-2015. As far as subclass 6.1 is concerned, this takes reference from ISO 9000-2015 standards. ISO 9000-2015 standard spells out the definitions and terms and the meanings used in this international standard so that no misinterpretation is done while implementing the requirements of ISO 9001-2015 in the organization. Now let me tell you what the key learnings or takeaways from this session. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to understand what is the risk-based thinking, what are the inputs and outputs for the planning process, how risk management is essential for the success of the organization and how to mitigate risk and maximize opportunities. So let's begin our discussion regarding the subclass 6.1, which is actions to address the risks and opportunities. The class is a classic example of process approach within the ISO 9001 standard, where the inputs for the planning process come from internal external issues as per class 4.1, and also needs and expectations of interested parties as per class 4.2. These are processed and the output is the risk management strategy and the action plan by the organization to address them. The class 6.1.1 states that when planning for the organization's quality management system, the organization shall consider the issues referred to in class 4.1 and the requirement referred to in the class 4.2 and determine the risks and opportunities that need to be addressed to give assurance that the QMS can achieve the intended results, enhance the desirable effects, and prevent or reduce undesired effects, also achieve improvement. The class 6.1.2 states that the organization shall plan actions to address the risks and opportunities, how to integrate and implement the actions into the quality management system processes as per class 4.4 and evaluate the effectiveness of these actions. Actions taken to address risks and opportunities shall be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of products and services. The concept of risk-based thinking is more explicit in the revised ISO standards. Risk is an effect of uncertainty on the objectives. An effect is deviation from the expected, whether it is positive or negative. Risk-based thinking can also help identify opportunities. This is called the positive side of the risk. Like investing in stock market, it is a risk as you may get enormous returns as well as your entire principal could be wiped out. If you take a calculated risk, you can make money in equities and stock market. This is known as risk appetite or acceptable risk. One of the purposes of risk management in quality management system is to act as a preventive tool. What is the purpose of a brake in a vehicle? Our impulsive answer to this question would be to reduce the speed of the vehicle. If you analyze carefully, just because the brake is very effective, we are able to accelerate the vehicle and go faster. Otherwise, we would go very slow or not take the vehicle at all. Now, there is a paradigm shift in the understanding of risk. Risk management in organization helps to fast pace the development and progress with suitable risk mitigation measures. Risk can be defined by two parameters. Severity. This is a seriousness of the problem or issue. Probability, this is the probability or likelihood that the problem or issue will occur. Risk is to be assessed with the combination of both the parameters for evaluation and management. This will help us to prioritize our actions to address the most significant risk in the organization. Four ways of treating or mitigating the risks are, which is called four T's. One is terminate. Avoid the activity, proposal, project, like work from home during the COVID pandemic. So we never got infection because we were working from home. Second method is to treat the risk, that is to mitigation measures to reduce the risk to acceptable levels, like vaccination, etc. we have taken. Third is tolerating the risk, 
in foundation and carry on with the residual risk like wearing mask and going out and carrying on our businesses fourth is transferring the risk like transfer the risk to other parties like insurance companies like taking insurance for covid hospitalization etc every process should focus on the risk and evaluate them on the severity and probability and prioritize the actions for significant risk process risk if not addressed by the departments concerned or the personnel it can become a business or organizational risk later identifying opportunities can lead to adaptation of new practices launching new products opening new markets addressing new clients building partnerships using new technology and other desirable viable opportunities possibilities to address the organization on its customers needs the actions to address the risks and opportunities are to be evaluated for their effectiveness also actions shall be proportionate to the potential impact on the conformity of products and services these actions to be integrated into the quality management system processes friends i hope you are clear with the requirements of the sub plus 6.1 of ISO 9001 2015 so now we will learn about the mandatory documentary requirements that an organization has to maintain while meeting the requirements of this class 6.1 there is no mandatory documentary requirement for maintaining the risk and opportunity register as per 6.1 of the standard however it is recommended to identify the risks and opportunities and review the effectiveness of the actions in management review meetings this is a good practice and establish this knowledge base for the organization for posterity for future reference dear friends we have now come to the conclusion of this training session i hope that you all must have understood the requirements and concepts that fall under the sub class 6.1 of iso 9001 2015 see you soon with an exciting new topic till then it's me signing off goodbye and thank you